today is Thursday and I'm working from home today. Yay, we're back to our hybrid schedule. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys my plant. She is thriving and I do want to get another pot for it because I wanted something to fit in there and then when it couldn't, I just left it or whatever. But yeah, this plant is thriving. I put a reminder on my phone every Saturday to water her. But this one, y'all, look at this. I moved it to where it can get more light and I water it the same time I water the other one. And y'all, I'm just not good with plants. I'm on my last break and working from home today, apparently. And look, you guys, see my little covering? It's sunflowers. I got it from Sheen. I used to always call it Shine, and I know it's not Shine, and some people call it Shein, I don't know. But anyway, so it's just a little covering that I got. Sunflowers, super cute. So I haven't put my hair on yet. I am going out later. We, and we, meaning Savannah and I, we have joined the praise team at our church, and tonight will be our first practice. And it's funny because, Edna, you posted something on Instagram a few days ago that said, just because I can't sing don't mean that I won't or something to that effect. And I'm like, same. I used to actually sing in the choir and I had a pretty decent voice. But y'all, I had my thyroid taken out. Y'all see that scar right there? Before I had my surgery, I was actually able to hold a note. I'm not saying that I was this big old, you know, fancy star gospel singer. I wasn't. But I had a decent voice. It was an okay voice. Now... It sounds very raspy and the surgeon didn't nick my vocal cords or anything like that. I did a bunch of research. It said that it's common um, for people have, after they had their thyroid removed for their voice to sound different. And I do notice that even my speaking voice is a little bit deeper sometimes. And my singing voice is very, very raspy right now. Sometimes I feel like I can't hold the note like I used to. And it's just everything that they were saying on that list It's like... That's exactly what I'm going through. But the voice is a muscle. It can be trained. So the people on the praise team, they know my dilemma. So I'm just going to sing in the back and not doing any solos. That's for sure. And sing low and hopefully get my voice to where it used to be. So anyway, I said all that to say that later on we're going to our first practice tonight. Yeah. All right. So it's after work and... um. It's almost five o'clock. Uh, I got off at 2.45 today, but just sitting here and watching an episode of The Mask Singer, the most recent season. And oh, y'all, Boston's little food dish and everything back there. I was gonna tell you guys, Savannah's in a shower if you guys hear the music's playing in the background, so hopefully it doesn't pick that up. Anyway, I am going to talk to my doctor because apparently there's exercises that I can do to strengthen my vocal cords again and whatever and stuff like that. I'm sure I can look up stuff on YouTube or whatever, but yeah, I need to, like I said, y'all, I am wasn't like a Tamla man. If y'all gospel singers, gospel singers, if you guys listen to gospel music and know who Tamla man is, she's a powerful, amazing gospel singer. No, I'm not on her level at all. I'm not even on my friend Rebecca's level. My friend Rebecca, which was my old pastor's wife. That woman can sing. She can blow. And when I would sing side by side with her, I would sing lower because she would put me to shame. So I'm not on their level, but I can do a very small, or I used to be able to do a very small something or whatever. But now I just have no control over that. And no, I'm not going to give you guys an example because it would be all bad. But yeah, I'm really excited about that, you guys. We are involving ourselves in the church a whole lot more and not just going and sitting on a pew. Yeah, it's awesome. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure I won't be blogging that tonight, but I'm just excited about that. So I just wanted to show you guys a few things because I have two items out for delivery today. And if you guys hear my dishwasher that's what's making the noise anyway so this is my phone and I don't know if you guys remember when I got this case and I like it I still think it's cute but y'all know me I go through cases like crazy and it's just time 
it's really worn now and as you can see like color is faded it's chipped over there so I've been wanting a new one for a while and I'm picky when it comes to cases now I mean usually I just oh that's cute let me grab it but I don't know lately I've been trying to grab something that I would like for a while or that I think I would like for a while before I get it because I spend too much money on cases so I've actually had this a while but now I'm about to change it and it's actually out for delivery today I will show you guys when that comes and also so this is my everyday I'm trying not to show you what's in my purse it's kind of a mess this is my everyday purse that I use right now it's Michael Kors it's super cute I absolutely love it but let me show you guys because it's an everyday purse and I put everything in it and I do have my little Michael Kors little pouch here Anna that you gave to me I appreciate this anyway look, look you guys see that it's like torn in half and I know eventually it's going to break completely and I'm not hard on my purses but my purses even the ones that I spend a lot of money on always unravel or mess up right here it's like that on the other side also let me show you guys see um I don't know if it's the way that I'm grabbing it I I spent a lot of money on these purses and I'm not bragging I'm just saying but it's to me it shouldn't come apart this easily but as you can see this is where my hand grabs it so that's probably why only on that part that it's unraveled so my phone case came and yes you guys I know it's made exactly like my old one just a different color but I kind of like the way she makes these and whatever so that's the reason why I got it but now that I have it I think I want to order from case to Fi, and I just got to put that on this was not expensive at all so I'm not gonna feel like I'm wasting money or anything like that but yeah now I'm gonna search case to Fi for an actual case that I want to use long term or until I get tired of it all right you guys it finally came I've already switched everything over but this is my wallet that I got and then the handbag which I absolutely love hopefully these will be sturdy enough not to break or unravel like the other one but yeah you guys that's my new purse and my new wallet and I'm so excited I'm happy I love it so Cheyenne is cooking dinner and Savannah is watching Jojo's amazing journey no. nope Jojo's awesome no, bizarre. amazing bizarre adventure <laughs> savannah and i have a debate over anime because she likes it a lot i always say that she's watching cartoons and she's like it's not a cartoon it's anime so tell me is it anime or is it cartoon i think it's still a cartoon but it's a cartoon that's anime good morning it is thursday working from home today i am just catching up on my vlogs um, while I work. Just watching my girl Etna catching up on her videos. And if you hear noise from outside, that's because my neighbor across the street is getting their roof done, which I know I need my roof done too. Um, last quote, I was quoted 15,000 um, and I'm supposed to pull out of the wear, you know, so I am saving for it, but yeah, y'all, it's roofs are no joke. Um, yeah anyway so i went out this morning to because you guys know i work from home so when i work from home i look like this right or i'll have my bonnet on and you know in my pajamas so i went out to throw garbage i went to throw garbage out and normally the streets are really quiet right now um except for across the street i know it's um pretty noisy out there but I went out and normally there's no one on the streets, no one walking or whatever at this time. So let me show you guys how I'm dressed first. 
I used to wear this out, but now I just wear it in the house. And then I have my jacket that I don't wear out anymore. I got it at Disneyland, but it's like so faded, worn, and it's just so baggy on me and it's horrible looking and it's, it's ugly. So anyway, I wear it in the house when it gets cold. So I have this on, right? Also, because it's a little bit chilly, I threw on a pair of sweats underneath my dress. Let me show you guys. So I know it's upside down, but this is what I look like right now. So I have the jacket on, this dress, these sweats, and my little socks here. Okay, look at a mess. Yes, I know. In addition to that, I have on this, and I have this on just to, I don't know, disguise me or whatever. So I go out to throw out one bag of garbage. And all of a sudden, everyone wants to be on the street. People are walking up and down, walking their animals, trying to do this quick, right? And all of a sudden, so four houses down, there is a guy that lives there, and I thought he was married, but I guess not. Good looking, very good looking. So here he comes, comes along with his dog, and he's walking his dog. Good morning right as I lift the lid to throw the garbage in. Yeah, he seen me in all my glory. Hey everyone. Um, have you guys in a weird position? I really hope my camera does not fall. Let me put some cushion underneath just in case it does. Um, I actually have you guys in my reading chair, or my filming chair, that little area right there. Um, I'm just looking through pictures and photos. Um, I mostly have pictures of my kids in this little bin here. Oh my gosh, y'all, it has been a long and stressful weekend. So today is Sunday and I have an aunt that you guys have seen before in the vlogs, but it's been a long time. She has not been in any of the recent vlogs, but um, she has been in the vlogs in the beginning a long time ago. Anyway. She passed away, um, and that happened actually yesterday, last night, around 8.30. And I'm just looking through my pictures here, because I'm sure I have some pictures of her, because I'm going to put together like a little slideshow, and if I remember, I'll try to put a picture up somewhere here of her, what she looked like. Um, that way you guys can see and you guys probably don't remember because it's been so long or maybe you guys do remember I don't know, but I'll do that And so yeah, she was only 56 I don't know sounded like something popped anyway, um She was only 56 and she has had a lot of health issues and yeah so that's what i'm doing now you guys and oh what was i saying i am going to like do a whole little slideshow thing set to music um for the family to have and that's just Tariq. and if she was in the vlogs more i would have put you know it here for you guys to see but yeah that's what I'm doing now, so let me do that, and then maybe I'll come back. So I found one picture so far. I still have a lot to go through, but did you guys want to see baby Michelle? That's me. That's me. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, and um, I took off work today because this week has, this weekend has been long and stressful. Normally, because of the whole COVID and everything, they only allow two visitors in the hospital. But because of the circumstance, we were literally probably like 20 deep and people were still coming. They were bringing in chairs. They were bringing in beds for the people who stayed overnight with my aunt. And it was just, it, it was nice. Um, honestly, if I was in that type of situation, I would want my family there as well. Y'all know I sound a little bit more 
raspier in the morning so so yeah um, I called in today just use PTO and I'm here and the kids are actually here also as well they're they stayed home today as well so yeah um, I am I did find maybe like a dozen pictures of my aunt in my bin and in my photo albums I thought I had a couple more like when we were younger but I don't so I don't know I thought I just thought I did I don't know anyway so I'm gonna try to get everything together and my family is still sending me pictures that they have of her yeah oh I don't think I told you guys so I did go to church yesterday and what other place to get your comfort from than from God the one who gives comfort anyway so we did go to church and yesterday was our first time actually singing up on the podium i was gonna say stage but it's not a concert so yeah we were up singing and i didn't sing very loud but um yeah i was kind of excited about it and it was fun and people were looking like oh you joined the praise team because i mean i'm not gonna just tell everybody hey guess what i'm on the praise team hey you guess what i'm on the praise team so they seen it when they seen it yeah that was very it was good it was actually very comforting it helped so much that was pretty cool pretty awesome yeah um i don't know um that's it for now you guys probably gonna make some coffee and yeah it's much later in the evening and um i'm just here watching bridgerton still getting pictures of my aunt from family members that i'm working on so yeah i've been doing that off and on all day yeah been kind of hard looking at the pictures and you know putting it together but this is you know the least i can do and it's something that i know i can do all three of my kiddos are skating there's a skate night with friends from church that's all i feel like i'm just updating you guys with random things here and there and not really giving you full vlogs i'm literally not doing anything right now and i get to work from home the rest of the week save on gas that's for sure because gas here in california right now is six bucks good morning everyone it is friday and this was before my aunt had passed away. I took a um, day off because Savannah, I don't think I told you guys, but y'all know, well, if y'all didn't know, Savannah is in college and she was doing the online thing because of, you know, the world shutting down. And even though when things were opening back up slowly, they continued with the online classes. So she's at a point now to where she was able to transfer so she actually got accepted to a college out in LA a college in San Jose and San Francisco State and also Sac State so we were going to do the tour of Sac, Sac State and my brother graduated from Sac State her and Evie both got into Sac State and I think Evie got into a few other colleges as well but we're gonna do the tour and check out everything and yeah that's on the agenda for today and <clears throat> I have been working on my aunt's, um, I was going to say eulogy. I'm not doing a eulogy. I wouldn't be able to. I'm going to be working on her video. And yeah, that's about it. But right now I need to get me some coffee because I just woke up. It's like 1130 and my body was just tired. I was up maybe around 8.30 and I'm thinking, okay, I'll start getting up slowly but surely. And then I started thinking, I'm like, why? I'm tired just to fall asleep in this chair right here no so I laid in bed till like around 10 30 and then I got up I took a shower got ready and all that so here I am I keep looking over there at Boston's bowl because in my mind I know he's not here but I look at that and I'm like why is that over there so yeah it's just gonna take some getting used to just like with my aunt um I, I cannot believe she's gone. Look who's pumping gas, you guys. Y'all, these oh, gas prices, you stopped it on 30? <laughs> we always have a thing because we don't like doing it like whatever, 01. <laughs> Savannah, just take it out. <laughs> okay. There are practice rooms in there, recording studios, music libraries. If you live on campus, you realize how many people should 
do the saxophone, and don't. <laughs> um, I think the cello is a very beautiful instrument. Say hi, Evie. Hi. <laughs> we just finished a tour, so. Yay. Yay. And they actually do them backwards. I really didn't know that. Yeah. Okay, it's the same day. We're back at home. And I actually just got out of the shower because I was sweating so much on the tour. It was outside and everything, which, of course, you know, we're not going to go inside a bunch of the buildings and the classes and whatnot. But it was very informative. Savannah and Evie, oh, Evie got accepted there also and a few other colleges. So we'll see what they decide. Anyway, um, yeah, it was fun. It was informative. And as soon as I got home, I'm like, I need to shower. And the reason why I put on regular clothes again is because Savannah has youth service tonight, Savannah and Cheyenne. But Cheyenne gets off a little bit later. So I need to actually drop Savannah off to the church because she is going to be singing tonight with the praise team for the youth services. So yeah, but I didn't know they actually really did walk backwards for the tour, you guys. I mean, my mind is blown. I know I've seen a couple of tours on YouTube because Savannah showed me one at Stanford or something like that, but I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, call me dumb or clueless, but yeah, it just amazed me the whole time she was able to do it backwards and every now and then she would look behind her and when we crossed the street, you know, she would walk forward. But yeah, mind blown. Anyway, that's it. Got nothing else. All right, it's much later. Savannah and Cheyenne are at the youth service um, at our church. Um, Tariq just got in from work, so he's in his room and... I'm here in the living room. I'm watching Grimm. Do you guys remember that show that used to come on? He was a Grimm and he would see these creatures that live amongst people or whatever like that. That's the only way that I can explain it. I don't know, but I am watching that and I actually watched it when it came on TV, but I enjoyed the show. I really did. So I'm watching it now. I just started from season one and my aunt's, um, Funeral is going to be on April 13th, so that's um, taken care of, and I just have to add two more pictures to my aunt's slideshow thing, and I am done. Um, I, I was actually done, and then someone else sent me pictures, and one I already had, and three are pretty much the same, just different poses, and I'm going to choose one, so yeah, anyway. If there's anything exciting, which I doubt, I'll come back. But if not, then yeah, this will be it for tonight. <laughs>